What up, Internet? This is Chris coming at you from sunny South Florida. You're about to watch one of my math videos, so I just want to let you know that the technology I use in this video can also be used in a live online web meeting. What does that mean? That means whatever is on my screen, you can also see on your screen. That means that we can talk to each other live at the same time. That means that while I do an example for you, you can ask me questions if you don't understand anything. This is just like having a one-on-one -on -one tutor, except even more effective because everything is being recorded. So later on in the week, if you forget anything that we covered, you can go back, watch the video, and refresh your memory. I deliver the material in a way that's very easy to understand, even if you hate math. So if you would like to schedule a me meeting, please email me at chris at mathmeeting.com. Once again, chris at mathmeeting.com. I hope you enjoy this video, and take care. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the derivative of a function using the product rule. The first thing I want to let you know is when do we use the product rule? If you see in the example that I wrote for you, f of x equals x cubed plus 5x, all multiplied by 2x squared, you can see that you can separate that function into two other functions. The first function being x cubed plus 5x, and the second function being 2x squared. If you look at it as two separate functions, you can see that they're being multiplied by each other. Whenever you see two functions being multiplied by each other, that is our dead giveaway that we need to use the product rule. Now, as you can see in the top right-hand part of the screen, the derivative of a function using the product rule is d first times second plus d second times first. Uh, when I say first, I'm referring to the first function. When I say second, I'm referring to the second function. d first is a derivative of the first function, and d second is a derivative of the second function. Um, and this will all make sense uh, once we get started with our example. So f prime of x, using the formula, is d first, which is the derivative of the first function, which the first one is x cubed plus 5x. The derivative of that is 3x squared plus 5. Multiplied by the second, which is just 2x squared. plus d second, which is the derivative of 2x squared, which is just 4x. Multiplied by the first, which is just x cubed plus 5x. Now we've taken the derivative of a function using the product rule but our answer is not completely simplified, so we still have some algebra left. The first thing I want to do is to distribute the 2x squared with the 3x squared plus 5. So 2x squared plus 3x squared is just 6x to the fourth, plus 2x squared times 5, which is just 10x squared. Now I want to distribute the 4x with the x cubed plus 5x. So 4x times x cubed is just 4x to the fourth. And 4x times 5x is just a positive 20x squared. Now we just have to combine our like terms and we can get our final answer. The 6x to the 4th and the 4x to the 4th are like terms. So we can combine them and rewrite them as 10x to the 4th. And our 10x squared and 20x squared are like terms. So we can combine them and we get 30x squared. Now you can see that the function can be factored. The 10x to the 4th and the 30x squared both have a 10 and an x squared in common. So I'm going to pull out a 10x squared. And we're left with x squared plus 3 in the parentheses. And once again, I just factored out the greatest common factor. 
now we have taken the derivative of the function using the product rule, and that is our final answer. Now, in this particular example, uh, using the product rule actually wasn't the most efficient way to complete this problem. If we just would have distributed the function from the start, and we distributed the 2x squared with the x cubed plus 5x, that would have been much quicker. So I'm going to show you that method, and you can see that we're still going to arrive at the same answer. So let's just distribute the 2x squared with the x cubed plus 5x. So 2x squared times x cubed is just 2x to the fifth. And 2x squared times 5x is just 10x cubed. Now just using the simple power rule, we can take the derivative. The derivative of 2x to the fifth is just 10x to the fourth, plus a derivative of 10x cubed, which is just a positive 30x squared. And you can probably tell that we still need to factor out the 10x squared in the next step, but we already can tell from the third line that we've arrived at the exact same answer. The reason why I chose to show you the long way first was just to give you an idea of how to use the product rule. So let's get started with our second example. Here we have the function f of x equals sine of x multiplied by x squared plus 5. Now if you separate the function f of x into two separate functions, the first and the second, like I labeled for you, you can see that we have two separate functions being multiplied by each other. And that is our giveaway that we need to use the product rule. Whenever you see two functions being multiplied by each other, we need to use the product rule. So once again, using our formula, d first times second plus d second times first, we're going to find the derivative. Our first function is the sine of x, so the derivative of the sine of x is cosine x. multiplied by the second function, which is just x squared plus 5, all plus the derivative of the second, which is just the derivative of x squared plus 5, which equals 2x, multiplied by the first. And the first function is just the sine of x. And there you have it. We have taken our derivative using the product rule. This example was that quick and that easy. Unlike our first example, where we solved the derivative using two different methods, the product rule is the only method um, you could use in this particular example uh, to solve the derivative. So I hope you found this video helpful for you. Uh, if you need any extra help, please email me at chris at mathmeeting.com, and we can set up a live online web meeting where I can give you one-on-one -on -one help. Take care.